the most mysterious phenomena, the rarest facts, the most exciting ideas, and all this is waiting for you on the Fact Box channel. Stay with us, like, and subscribe. There are a lot of interesting things ahead. We can't imagine our lives without transport. The familiar cars, buses, metro, and airplanes no longer surprise anyone, but there are incredible types of movement in the world that are breathtaking. Today, we present eight of the most unusual modes of transportation. Such rides can be a real adventure for you. Imagine that the transport doesn't have a driver at all. This is possible. In Spain, tourists actively use the go-car tricycle. Its main function is to show the sights of Barcelona. The car is guided by GPS. During the trip, go-car informs passengers of all known places around. And if tourists get bored of an excursion, the unusual vehicle can tell a joke or sing a song. For this feature, the go-car tricycle is also called a singing taxi cab. The machine is built on the basis of a scooter with an engine capacity of only 49 cubic meters and weighs a little more than 170 kilograms. The capacity of such a modern tricycle is two people. Go-car is registered as a motorcycle, but since it has three wheels, a driver with a Category B license can drive it. Would you like to get around to another area of the city by elevator? This is not a dream, nor a miracle. You have such opportunity in Portugal. An unusual Santa Justa street elevator appeared in Lisbon more than 100 years ago. A separate building was erected by an architect with French roots, Raoul Mesnier de Ponsard, a student of Gustave Eiffel. At the beginning, the cabins rose and fell due to steam energy. Then an electric motor was built for the lift. In a shaft with a height of 45 meters, there are two elevators. Each cabin is decorated with wood. Transport links the two districts of Lisbon, by Hu and Bairro Alto. Upstairs is an observation deck with a great view of the city. By the way, for those who suffer from claustrophobia and do not like elevators, a staircase is located nearby. There are legends about luxurious life in the United Arab Emirates, and it's in this country that there is a Wubbo Superbus that resembles a hybrid of a limousine and a spaceship. This modern transport was developed in the Netherlands. The author of the project was Wubbo Oxels, the first of the Dutch to go to space. The whole appearance of the bus screams of its cosmic roots. The vehicle has 23 seats and moves from Dubai to Abu Dhabi in a dedicated lane at a speed of about 250 km per hour. The cost of the Wubbo Superbus could only be afforded by Arab sheiks, $17 million. The cost of Wubbo Superbus afford only Arab sheiks, $17 million. This is Hippo, and it's not a sinking bus as it seems at first glance. This is a real amphibious bus. The name of this vehicle, Hippo, is quite suitable for it. The bus begins its journey on land and then turns into a small ship and moves along the surface of Lake Ontario. Tourists are incredibly fond of riding the Hippo. It seats 40 passengers and is used for sightseeing tours of Toronto. By the way, during such a trip, there's an opportunity to swim in Lake Ontario. There are similar amphibious buses in Montreal, San Francisco, Ottawa, Glasgow, Budapest, and Rotterdam. The movement of the future. That's what people call personal rapid transit. It's controlled without a driver automatically. The streamlined small cabs seem to be speed capsules from the future. Personal transport is available 24 hours a day. Personal rapid transit carries passengers in taxi mode on a network of dedicated routes. The principle of its movement is similar to a horizontal elevator. Take a ride on the public transport of the future at London Heathrow Airport. We present to you the oldest operating monorail in the world, the Wuppertal Suspension Railway. This type of transport has existed in the city of Wuppertal since 1901. Every day, the train covering a distance of 13.5 kilometers carries about 82,000 passengers. The most exciting part of such trips is that 10 kilometers of the road passes over the Wupper River. Passengers travel at an altitude of 12 meters and enjoy the incredible view. Such a romantic mode of transport speeds up to 60 kilometers per hour. An original way of dealing with increased car traffic was invented in Hong Kong. A whole system of street escalators was built here. Hong Kong's central mid-level is the longest in the world. Residents of the city don't need to sit in traffic jams. 
an escalator will take you to work. From 6 to 10, the transport moves down to the center. From 11.30 to midnight, up to the areas located on the hills. The overpass system consists of 20 indoor escalators and 3 travelators. Its total length is 800 meters. The lift height is 135 meters. 60,000 office workers are transported daily by street escalators. On the way, the escalator crosses the prestigious areas of the city, including Soho and Hollywood Road. So it has long been in demand not only by citizens, but also by tourists. Flying Gondola That's what tourists and locals call a ferry in Spain, which moves not by water, but by air. An overhead ferry in Spain sweeps over the Nervian River, connecting the cities of Portugalale and Las Arenas. The oldest conveyor bridge was built at the end of the 19th century by a student of Gustav Eiffel, a Spanish engineer, Alberto de Palacio. The platform holds six cars and several tens of people and runs every eight minutes. It works round the clock 24-7. The fare is 0.45 euros. The fare is less than half a euro. This flying ferry became the prototype for subsequent buildings in the UK, France, USA, Germany, and Argentina. What did you think of the video? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, be sure to smash the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. Until next time on Facts and Box.